morning everyone welcome back to the channel if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn them notifications on so today's video what have we got going on well just to the side of me here as you'll see we got the brains aerator um, and that's what today's job is I'm gonna be going down to the field we saw in the slurry spreading video I'm going down there today and I'm gonna aerate the whole of that field now for those who don't know what an aerator is basically all it is is a spinning this spinning wheel here it runs on a bearing on each end obviously to spin and basically all that happens is these little tines poke into the ground and they make little slots and basically the reason i'm going down today to do some some of this job is i haven't finished spreading slurry haven't finished spreading slurry on the field and I'm hoping by going down with this and slitting the ground when I apply the next lot of slurry in a couple of days time the slurry is going to drop into them cracks and get down to the roots quicker that's the idea whether it will work or not I don't know but we're going to give it a go so get this hooked up I have got a few things to do before I can actually go and do the job I've got to get this hooked up uh, get some barrels on top of the frame here, fill them with water so that we have got some weight and go and do some work. Just stick some grease in these bearings. As you can see, it's not been used a while and they're pretty dry, so it's important to keep them greased so we don't get any breakages. Okay, we're just uh, filling the last drum up behind me here, and we'll just go out once this is filled. Okay, so we've just filled the last drum there, and just here there is two lots of four on both sides and then there's the three with that one that's in there in the middle so these have all got roughly around 25 liters in and i think 25 liters is around 25 kilos so there's 100 kilos on each side and then another 75 in the middle which gives us around about 275 kilos which is more than enough at the moment to keep that in the ground all the weight's really for is so that the tines just spike in that bit more because we found before when we used to use it we never put any weight on it and if you did get a bit of a hard spot in the field the tines would lift themselves out the ground and it's not quite as effective then so we'll get this last drum loaded up and then we'll get down to the fields and yeah start doing some some of the uh, aerating We're down the field now and we are in the process of doing the aeration. Now I've already done a few bouts just over to the side here. What I've basically done is I've come from where I finished spreading the slurry which is in one of the videos previous to this 
Um, and I've gone from there and I'm going to work my way right over to the hedge on the far side. The field has been aerated. I've done as far back from this hedge here across to where we were spreading the other day. And we'll just have a quick look down at the ground here. We'll just get an idea of what we've done. Find a good spot. Okay, so if you can just see here, these are the slits that it's made in the ground. And basically, as you can see, it's it's fairly deep. I haven't actually got anything with me thin enough to go down into them holes just to measure the depth, but you'll roughly gauge from the tines over there. Hang on, we'll just have a look. You can roughly gauge from the look of them tines how far in they've gone. So I'm hoping to get some slurry out tomorrow. The plan is if I get some slurry out tomorrow, I'll do a quick recording in the morning of the ground and what the slurry's like. So We'll jump over to that now. There we go, the slurry's been spread on the field and I've just got a cable tie here. What I'm gonna try and do is, well, I have found a slot already. Now, if we look at the cable tie, you can see there's no slurry on that at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop that in one of the slits and I'm gonna see whether this comes back out covered in slurry. If it does, then the objective has been complete almost. If it doesn't, then we've wasted our time, but let's just uh, spin the camera around. Now where is it? There's a slit, look. I don't know if you can see that. Just there. I've cleared from round it so that there's no slurry actually on the ground. Let's see me cover it. We'll just get that down in that hole. And look at that. That's as deep as it went there. Now they're not the deepest, but you can see clear as day that there is, there is slurry on that. So 
the aeration's worked. The slurry's getting down to the roots a lot quicker, which is what we wanted to do. Especially with it being now the end of February, it's really important to get this into the ground as quick as possible. We don't want this lying on top of the ground now for too long. So by going through with the aerator, we have actually done a good job, I think. Uh, might be a practice we try and achieve every time by doing the slurry, but we'll see how it comes. If there is a noticeable difference, we'll see it over the far side of the field there because we put slurry on three weeks ago over there, which is in the last a couple of videos ago. I did that uh, and we didn't do any more after that day until obviously yesterday when I started over there. But that's really it for today's video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.